Here we are again, um, day four in this field, third hunt of the week and it's been really good so far. Uh, it looks like a really nice day today, or getting to be, the, the frost is melting, the early morning fog has disappeared. So let's just move on and see what we can find here today. Uh, I'll get back to you whenever anything comes up. Well, uh, literally just started. Um, not even hit the first peg yet, and uh, first well, it was the first good signal. Um, let's see what we've got here. Very shallow, almost the surface one, whatever it is. Okay, it's uh, yep, quite a nice uh, pewter button. It's top half of one anyway. All right, well, it's the first find of the day within, literally within a couple of minutes. It's uh, looking good for the day. All right, let's carry on, see what else we can find. Another few steps further on, and uh, we've got another signal. Uh, this one's still in the hole, quite deep, maybe about 10 inches down there. Oh, there it is. Um, if you can see that in the hole there. Um, yeah. Coin. Quite a big coin. Okay, I think this is a penny. And... Uh, all oh, right, two finds, one a coin, in, literally in five minutes. Good start to the day. I'll get this cleaned up and if there's anything on it, I'll come back and let you know. Right, so within uh, 10 minutes that last find, which was um, uh, Georgia Third Penny, the early morning mist that was disappearing has seems to have come back with a vengeance and uh, I don't know if it's going to get much thicker but it's still quite thick here at the moment anyway it's got another signal here um, and we managed to get out another button uh, this uh, again it's a small pewter button but it has got the shank on the back if you can see that uh, yeah still got the shank on anyway three finds in what 15 minutes or so this is looking pretty good so far let's move on then another good signal here it's uh, came out of bottom of that hole there which is good 20 centimeters at least anyway it's whatever this is here I think I think this is probably the first scrap find of the day. Looks like a piece of scrap. Um, yep, I think so. Not sure. Not sure on this one at all. Okay, we'll clean it up and if it's anything we'll come back to you. A really good signal here. Um, came out of the bottom of the sod. And OK, 
indicate, right in the middle there. Hmm, looks like that was it. Uh, Yep, a little bit of scrap. Okay, let's move on. Okay, um, sun's really shining now, it's getting quite warm. Uh, fog has lifted totally. And uh, uh, I'm just about to pack in for a bite to eat. It's just gone 12 o'clock now, and we've got a really good signal here. Um, it was in the bottom of the sod. It's now over here somewhere, I believe. Okay. Ah. Ah, just, um. Okay. This is another furniture pommel, small one this time. And uh, again, like the others, it'll be uh, 18th, 19th century. Okay, another find, then let's see what we can get here this afternoon. A oh, really good signal here. Um, it wasn't that deep. Came out of the bottom of the sod, and I broke it up, and it's here somewhere. Just another bit of no. Oh, okay. Right, this is uh, another thimble. Um, it's a bit squashed, but it's certainly, I don't know, it looks, it's certainly got that beehive shape about it. Okay, this, this is nice. Um, I don't know whether I'll be able to get it dated, but. Yeah, okay. Right, another nice find for the day then. Let's log it and carry on and see what else we can get. Another really good signal here. Um, this one's really in the top inch or two of the sod. Um, so I'm not expecting anything great, but... Whatever it is, is about here. Ah, here we go. Okay, this looks like an old lock plate. Tiny little lock plate. That's interesting. Okay, now that, uh, that I may be able to uh, get a date on that possibly. Certainly got something around the, the rim there. Okay, that's nice. Let's see what else we can find then. Alright, another good one here. Um, again, very shallow, gave it five centimetres and it is out in the bottom of this sod. Uh, somewhere. Hold on, what have we got here? Okay, grey, silvery. Certainly something on it. All right. Um, just hold this a moment while I get my glasses. This is this is now starting to get me a little bit excited because I can see something on that even without my glasses around the rim. Oh, it's a coin. It is a coin. Um, it's a very thin coin. Oh, could this be? Can't. I think it's another William, actually. Um, sixpence, maybe. Oh, just about nothing on the back hardly at all. That's a shame. Okay, but I don't know. I can't. I can't see that. 
Anyway, this is great. It says, uh, what, third silver coin this week, and two of them really, really old. Um, last one was 1696. I don't think I'm going to get a date off this one, but uh, we'll get it cleaned up and see. Okay, this is fantastic, and, and only at five centimetres down. Right, let's move on then. That's a really good signal here. It wasn't deep, gave it as, as uh, 10 centimetres. And uh, the shot came out and I split it, and uh, that's pretty much in there, I would say. Whatever it is. Okay, let's see if we can get something good here. Okay, right, that appears to be possibly a coin, possibly a button, possibly neither. Uh, I think this is a, yeah, I think it's a coin. Again, extre uh, copper, extremely worn. Um, doesn't appear to be anything on it again but uh, okay it's another coin and we'll log that and move on and another good one um, in the shot Okay, there it is, and it looks like another coin. Yes, I think so. Um, maybe not. Don't know. Yeah, I think that's another coin. And uh, probably a penny. Okay. All right, we'll log that one in and just finish off this row and call it a night. What a good day it's been today again. Okay, catch you later. Okay, here we are again, um, day five. And it's a nice morning. Um, as you can see, the sun hasn't quite melted all the frost yet, but it's heading that way. And um, starting off where we finished on Friday, along here. Um, we did get a few nice silver coins last week, and. Let's hope we can maybe find some more today. Okay, so I'll come back to you if uh, anything comes up this morning. Right, 15 minutes in. I've just got first good signal. Uh, came out of the bottom, of it, not too deep, about 15 centimetres. Okay. Right, um, not quite sure on that one. It appears to be possibly um, part of a watch chain, maybe. Okay, we'll check that one out. Come back to you. Okay, first find of the day. All right, um, just a quick word on the the watch chain uh, fob or, or top or whatever. Um, it's actually silver. So, first silver of the day in 15 minutes. Uh, there, there is a hole mark on there. Can't quite make it out at the moment, but I'll check it out when I get home. But, uh, how cool is that? First silver find, 15 minutes in the field. Um, let's carry on and see what else we can get. Oh, another good one here. A detector gave it as 20 centimetres. Uh, it's definitely there on the bottom of the sod. I 
and it's there I can see it looks like yep looks like a first button of the day yep okay first button of the day I'm sure there'll be more let's carry on all right so you really have a, a cracking double double signal here seems to be going absolutely eight uh, let's dig this one and see what we've got there. Right, it's uh, still there. Um, it's right at the side of the hole here. Let's see what we've got then. Oh, I think that's, that's it. Yep, it's a coin. Um, about the size of a halfpenny, I think. Uh, as usual, it's here anyway. The uh, copper coins are very corroded. Um, don't know if there's anything on this, but okay, I'll take it. First coin of the day. Let's move on. All right, uh, another good find here, I think. Um, as you can see, I've had to dig a double hole, so I totally missed it with a pinpointer. That was the first hole. Anyway, I took the sod out the second, and there's a find down there. Looks like a, um, an old buckle. Yep. Not quite sure how old or anything, but it's certainly an old brass buckle. All right, nice find. Let's log it and move on. Right, another good signal here. Um, gave us about five centimeters, and uh, I guess that was right because it's out and it's uh, in the sod there, which is not very really deep at all. Okay. Okay, no idea what this is, but it's big. Well, oh, that's big. Heavy, and... Okay. <sighs> right, that is another find, I guess. I'll clean it up and see if there's anything on it uh, that'll maybe tell me how old it is. Okay, another one. Let's move on then. Alright, uh, just started again for the afternoon. Um, five minutes maybe, certainly no more than that. Got the first good signal. And uh, still in the hole there, in the corner again. Okay, this looks like a uh, brass doorknob handle maybe, or handle off a bureau or something, it's quite heavy. Okay, first find of the afternoon, not too bad. Let's carry on and see what else we can find. All right, uh, literally three steps further on. Got another good one. It's quite deep. Gave us 20 centimeters. And right down the bottom of the hole there. Okay, what's this? Right, this looks like a, a musket ball, I believe. Yeah, okay, so we got a musket ball in this field, first one. Cool, right, let's move on. 
Right, uh, another really good signal, and uh, wasn't actually very deep. Uh, that's the that's the sort of depth of the sod there. You can see that's not too deep. The find is here somewhere. Um, I believe going to the detector anyway. Okay, uh, what we got here now? That was kind of nice. Um, no idea. I think it's uh, I think it's a little brass handle. Um, again, another probably another furniture bit, but. Uh, Looks quite nice anyway. Okay, let's uh, log that one in and we'll just move on then. Right, uh, next good signal here. Um, took an awful lot of getting out, but uh, it's it's in this little bit of stuff here. Oh. Easy enough, right there. See that? It's uh, there. You go. Pretty battered by the looks of it. Um, pretty sure it's a, oh, it's not too bad on the back. Okay, it's a halfpenny. Uh, I think that's 1863. I think. Okay, not too bad on the back, but it's pretty bent and. Um, front looks a bit worn off. Anyway, another find, another coin. Let's go see what else we can do. Alright, uh, good signal here. I totally missed it with a pinpointer, probably by about two inches. So I took this slice out and I don't even need the, um, the pro pointer to find it because you can probably see it there. Um, it just right on the edge of the slice here. Nice. Another coin, another very thin one. Don't know if there's anything on it. But okay, we'll uh, we'll try and clean it up and see if there's anything there. Come back and let you know. Okay, another coin then.